All right, here we have silly Steve Anderson again, and post trip number post trip moment number fifty six, and he it goes into the whole thing of Revelation chapter six and Matthew twenty four are the same thing, and that that's the tribulation, and then after that is the wrath of God. This guy is an idiot. Okay, Revelation the the after chapter six it gets more into detail as to what's going on. Revelation chapter six tells the first account of the tribulation time period. But the events of the seven trumpets, the seven vials of wrath, occur during the tribulation time period. Nobody that I know of believes the way that silly Steve Anderson teaches the book of Revelation. This is just satanic heresy. It's ridiculous. It's retarded. I mean, it just, it's incredible. I don't know anybody that believes this. And I'm going to do a little special video on that coming up. Look for that. But anyhow, but uh, listen to what he says here. Do you talk about ignorance of scripture? Listen, listen to what he says. Not only will we collectively one day be in this group, the Bride of Christ, which, by the way, the Bride of Christ does not exist on this earth at this time. Oh, the Bride of Christ does not exist on this earth at, at this time. Did you hear what he just said there? Back it up a little bit. Let me play it again. God. Not only will we collectively one day be in this group, the Bride of Christ, which, by the way, the Bride of Christ does not exist on this earth at this time. The Bride of Christ does not exist on this earth at this time. Really. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. What is the church? A type of the bride. Oh, but the but the bride doesn't exist yet. Huh? Continuing, husbands love your wives even as Christ also loved the church. Husband love wife. Christ loved church. The church is the bride of Christ. But Steve Anderson says, "Oh, the bride doesn't exist yet." What an idiot! that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives, see the tie-in, wives, church, as their own bodies, he that loveth his wife loveth himself, for no man, excuse me, for no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourisheth and cherisheth it, even as the Lord, the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. Now look at this. <sighs> Sorry about that. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Okay? Christ, the church, is a picture of a man's wife. The bride of Christ does exist right now. Steve Anderson is a biblical, uh, just, he does not know what he's talking about. Uh, the wedding has not yet taken place and will not take place for many years to come. Yeah, we're betrothed to Jesus Christ right now. All the way in Revelation 19 is when that uh, wedding is going to take place. But we are also often referred to as the children of God. And the Bible says this in Hebrews chapter 12. It says, For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. Oh boy. Now here we have the Catholic uh, philosophy coming in. That we have to suffer and be purified as Christ's church. Ah. Uh -huh. That's what the Catholic Church teaches about the, the time of Jacob's trouble. They believe it's the time of the church's trouble. Now let's continue watching here. So let me ask you this. Does Jesus beat his children? The Bible commands uh, fathers in the Old Testament in the book of Proverbs. He says, withhold not correction from the child. For if thou beatest him with the rod, he shall not die. Thou shalt beat him with the rod and shall deliver his soul from hell. Now, obviously when he says beat he's not talking about beat up he, he's obviously referring to spanking he's referring to using the rod and and applying it 
in a, in a loving, corrective way, spanking the child's bottom. And, and, and look, I believe in spanking my children. And let me tell you something. God will spank his children. The Bible's clear in Hebrews 12, that whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. Okay, let me ask you a question. Will God spank his children if they are not being bad? Whether or not they deserve it, he just spanks them? Uh, no. Uh, the Bible says that the wrath of God is going to be coming on the whole world in that time of Jacob's trouble. It's not for the church. It's for Israel. If ye endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. So does God beat his children? Absolutely he does. It's interesting, too, because what book did he just read out of? He read out of the book of Hebrews. Wait a second, I thought there was neither Jew nor Greek. Huh, why would there be a book written to Hebrews? Well, because if you read the book of Hebrews, it is very clearly for Jews in the tribulation. Jews in the time of Jacob's trouble. That's who it's to. And so to say that, well, we can't go through the tribulation because Jesus isn't a wife beater... First of all, God's not doing the beating in the tribulation. God's not doing the beating in the tribulation. Uh, excuse me? Really? Really? Is this guy really this stupid? And I saw when the lamb, when the, the lamb opened one of the seals, uh, who unleashes the Antichrist? Oh, the Antichrist comes out of his own accord, right? and goes out and attacks Christians and the Lord's up there powerless to stop him. Uh, how about this one? When he opened the second seal. When he opened the third seal. When he opened the fourth seal. Who is unleashing these judgments on the earth? Uh, that would be the Lamb. Jesus Christ. He just said that God's not doing it. God's not pouring out his wrath until after we're gone, after the tribulation. Wrong. Wrong. The events that happen after the seals, the trumpets, and the vials happen too, before the coming of the Lord, before the second coming. It's going to be the devil and mankind that's persecuting the believers during the tribulation. But even if God did beat us, I know in my life God's beaten me before. Why? Because I'm his son. I'm his child. He has disciplined me before. He will discipline me again. So this, this, this statement that Jesus is not a white beater is probably the most foolish thing I've ever heard out of the mouth of these that believe in a pre-trib rapture because it's foolish on so many levels. Yeah, kind of like what you teach. You're a fool. You are the most foolish preacher I've ever heard. Some of the stuff that's coming out of your foolish mouth is just incredible. First of all, it confuses the tribulation with God pouring out his wrath. Wrong. The tribulation is not a Bible term. Again, he lies. He's trying to tell you that this time period that's coming is called the tribulation. That doesn't appear anywhere at all in the King James Bible. It's a description of the time. It is not a title. He lies over and over and over again. And secondly, it assumes that God does not beat his children when God for sure beats his children, according to Proverbs and according to Hebrews chapter 12. But these are the type of straws that those who believe in a pre-tribulation rapture have to grasp at because they don't have any clear scripture to support their doctrine. Uh, yes, we do. And we've proved it over and over and over again. And we'll keep answering these lying little hypocrites like Steve Anderson.